50 million pounds on either its Livingston site or its Californian plant. Winning the deal would be a major boost for the town, suffering from the winding up of its development corporation two years early. In the latest of our series on Scottish towns, business editor Morris Smith went on the road to Livingston. The Livingston Development Corporation was created. Their job, build a town from scratch. Scotland's five new towns were the creation of a post-war dream. Families, many of them from the city slums, were offered a brave new world. Planners in Livingston, the last of the five towns, claimed they would learn from the mistakes of the past. I moved to Livingston in 1966 from Edinburgh. My wife and I decided that we'd like to move to give our family a better environment to be brought up in. Thirty years later, the housing problems that inevitably arose had been addressed. A community spirit had grown and Livingston's face changed. New towns became synonymous with social alienation and lack of amenities. In Craig's Hill, the first Livingston scheme, locals learned the power of community politics. All rummage. Craig's Farm Centre has become a symbol of that experience. Upstairs in a studio above the nearly new shop, children learn to dance. Nearby, local musicians prepare demo tapes. There's a sense that Craig's Hill's achievements have been its own. In Livingston, it's really the people have been the main thing. I mean, it's not, and it's something you don't want to lose. You don't want to, the town to lose its identity. The communities in Livingston have been very good at using their own initiative and doing things themselves. My fears now are that there doesn't seem to be the same commitment to supporting community initiatives from the authorities that we will take over. The majority of my married life and uh, my children's lives, so to speak, have been involved in the town. And so Livingston, I feel, is, is ourselves. I mean, Livingston is not a, a, a town as such. I would say it's, it's a way of life for us. The completion of the final phase of Almondvale Shopping Centre will be an important boost to the town's realisation of its maturity. Livingston's population is just more than 40,000, with an average age of 29. Unemployment is under 9%, and Livingston is one of the highest percentage of people working in manufacturing industry, along with 82 new companies locating in the town this year. We've now reached a stage where there's almost 700 companies in Livingston. Jim Pollock's the man responsible for Livingston's claim to be capital of Scotland's Silicon Glen. The Development Corporation's chief executive believes high-profile investors like Japan's NEC back up the promotional rhetoric. But he's among those who agree with the argument that the town as a whole has not yet fully developed. These houses will be the last to be built by Livingston Development Corporation but there are fears for the future. The abolition of the five Scottish new towns opens the door to the possible privatisation of many of their major assets. Had we got a further five years, we could probably have finished the job. I think we'd have to admit there are gaps, which we're hoping to plug, uh, but with uh, just over two years left, it's going to be very difficult. We're running at 100 miles an hour, and we'll probably hit the buffers at 100 miles an hour, but in an ideal world, a further five years would have suited us fine. When you consider that we in the community, in theory, own the town, nothing is coming our way. The, the finance is going elsewhere. They're trans transferring assets to either district or a new authority. And I'm really not very happy about it at all. That tension about the winding up of the corporation represents the new town's final challenge. Morris Smith, Reporting Scotland, Livingston. <laughs>